14 December could mark the end of the current 11 month long bear market. Let's check it out. In December, the market continued with its downtrend, which started a month ago and in the first two weeks lost 20% of its value. Then followed actually a sharp reversal and a rally of 44% in the next nine days. In the end of the month, the market uh, lost a little bit again of its value and end of the month almost flat with a negative performance of minus 4%. There are some signs, as I said, that could point to the end of the bear market and there are two things we could observe. Um, one was the quite important shift in the sentiment of the mainstream media. As we wrote and uh, spoke before, mainstream media was really negative for the last few months, always bombarding everything crypto related, proclaiming crypto being dead and Bitcoin useless. But in December we could see some changes. In, the, in this sentiment, there are some positive articles coming uh, out again after a long time. For example, Time Magazine published a really nice article titled Why uh, Bitcoin Matters for Freedom. It was a really nice one. And another thing with the rally in prices in the second part of December, we also noticed an increase in volume. And the same is happening actually in the first days of uh, January. So this is something quite important. But of course, we still need to wait for a few more weeks to see how things will develop. Um, on the legislative front, uh, last month we uh, wrote about the big positive development in South Korea, where the top five exchanges are actually now owned by the large national multinational companies. Um, in Korea, one of them is the second largest bank. So there is a huge renaissance in Korean market. And we are coming to a stage actually where countries will have to either adapt to the new reality and support the growth of the crypto ecosystem or actually be left behind. So it's up to them what to do. And we can see some positive developments even in the United States where several congressmen introduced new bills which, uh, with which they want to actually position the US as one of the market leaders in the crypto uh, industry. So definitely some new developments on the legislative front. And um, there's also more and more signs of broader adoption. For example, Bug, the project we talked about a lot in our previous commentaries uh, in December, uh, actually uh, raised 182 million US dollars from 12 investors and they plan to launch in this quarter. This will be a huge new entry to the market, uh, to the crypto market. Calgary, for example, the third largest city in Canada and one of the fastest growing cities there um, introduced Calgary dollar, which will be used uh, to pay for the local services uh, in, in Calgary. Very nice uh, development there. And um, Facebook, with probably one of the biggest news of the 2018, was that Facebook plans to develop its own stablecoin, which will be used for transferring the let's say, money um, through the WhatsApp uh, service, especially they plan to target uh, India for uh, the start and then of course offer it globally. And as we all know, Facebook has over 2.5 billion users globally and this is a huge step towards the broader adoption of the cryptocurrencies. 2018 was actually one of the most active years or the most active year um, in the crypto industry in terms of development and many huge prominent projects are coming to life this year and we believe that 2019 will be the year of the re reversal for the crypto and a, p a start of the new era of crypto growth. So this is it for uh, this month's commentary. Um, be sure to check our social media profiles, especially Twitter where we uh, post uh, daily with uh, new insights, news. Please comment this video. We would like to improve and we definitely want to hear from you. Thanks and see you next time guys. Bye.